Hey guys, it's GED question of the daytime and I have got a graph of a line question. So, so typical of the GED. Let's take a look. It says, what is the equation of the line pictured below in slope intercept form? So I'll just remind you guys, we've talked about this a lot lately, but um, the equation of a line in slope intercept form, that formula is on the GED formula sheet. Oh, let me grab a different color. Purple's a little hard to see here. And it says on the formula sheet, y is equal to mx plus b. That's the formula there. And I'll just remind you that the m stands for the slope of the line. And the b stands for the y-intercept. All you have to do to turn this generic formula into the slope of a specific line is find the b, the slope. I mean, I'm sorry, can I say that again? Is find the m, the slope, and the b, the y-intercept. Okay, so uh, let's start with the y-intercept. That's where I like to start. That's where my line crosses the y-axis. So I can see here's my line crossing the y-axis, the up and down axis, and it crosses right at four. And so I would expect something with a b of four, uh, four uh, adding to the x. And I can see that that's happening here. That has a b of positive four. And here, that has a b of positive four. So it's not at crossing at one, right about here. It's not crossing at negative one, right about there. So those two answers I can rule out. And now it is super easy to tell which one of these are my lines, even if you struggle with slope, because I want you to notice something. It looks like there's no number out here multiplying with X. Students are like, what in the world? But can you at least see that no, the no number out here, this is positive. When I don't see a sign out front, it's positive. And this one is negative. Now I say, even if you don't know much about slope, you should be able to tell a positively sloped line from a negatively sloped line. Positive lines go up as you read from left to right, and negative lines go down. So let's put our pencil on the left of this line and then travel right, and you can see my line is going down. This is a downward sloping line, so it must have a negative slope. The answer here is definitely C, just using my common sense. But if you're wondering what exactly is that slope, well, I'll just remind you that when you don't see a number out front of an X, that's because there's just one of them. We don't bother to count to one. Um, so when I say negative x, I'm saying negative 1x. I'm saying that I have a slope. I go down one for every one that I run. And you can see that here. Down one over one, down one over one, down one over one. That's how this line slopes. All right. So C is the correct answer. And again, we are going to be doing a series of videos on this topic because it's easily learned but also easily forgotten, and I don't want you to forget it for your GED. So stay tuned for the next few videos. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math concept, be sure to drop it in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer it.